<laughs> Hi, my name is Samantha. I just finished reading Cinderella and My Daughter, Dispatches from the Front Lines of the New Girly Girl Culture by Peggy Ornstein. The book is about childhood development, especially with little girls and how they're growing up in a culture now where everything is dictated by the media. Ornstein commentates on the trends that are affecting our little girls on a day-to-day -day basis, with a specific emphasis on the Disney princesses and how they're altering the way little girls perceive themselves and their peers. I was kind of hoping it would actually be about a little girl getting eaten by Cinderella. But that didn't happen. Ornstein also places a special emphasis on technology and the internet and how it's serving as a sort of conduit for these influences. She brings a lot of good statistics to the table, and she's obviously done her research. However, by the end of the book, I didn't find that I had come to any sort of conclusion about how anyone should be raising their children. It was more of a speculation. It was more a constant wondering on a personal level about how these things are affecting us and affecting our children. The book is fast-paced with some short chapters, a lot of content to take in, but for the most part it went by pretty quickly. As a reader, I didn't always agree with the things that Orenstein had to say, and I wasn't a fan of the way she would state something as an opinion and then constantly go back and question herself. I mean, it's one thing to question the way you're raising your child, but it's another thing entirely to never seem to come to any sort of conclusion. So by the end of the book, I was a little confused that it was actually the end of the book and that there wasn't something a little more concrete to hold on to and to take away from it all. Working in a library, I interact with little girls on a day-to-day -day basis, and I found that a lot of the things that Orenstein has to say, or at least to comment on, are pretty valid. I did a little bit of research myself and looked into our Easy Reader section to see what kind of books were available for little girls and what kind of books were available for little boys. As far as leading girl characters go, you run into the classic Katie Wu, Fancy Nancy, Amelia Bedelia, and everywhere there are princesses and there are Barbies. But for the little boys, all of the main boy characters tend to be creatures. Frog and Toad, Little Critter, those types. Um, the only little boy character that I found was Buzz Beaker. And I found it kind of interesting that the little girls have these very iconic representations of themselves and they're learning lessons from these little girls who are selfish and who lie and who put all of their emphasis on being pretty, on being better than the other girls in their class or in their community. So I think that's something to look out for. If any of you know of strong boy characters that show up in easy readers at this integral age when children are learning who they are and starting to establish an identity, let me know. If you're intrigued by the phenomena behind all of the pink and the glitter and these little girls that want to be princesses, then this is certainly a book for you. Even if you're on the other end of the spectrum and you're not curious about it but you understand it as a reality and want to see a little more into it, this would be a good read. I do highly recommend it, whether or not you are a parent or a to-be parent or anything. I think everyone should have a look at it at least. It is quite the social commentary, if nothing else. Regardless of whether or not you've read the book, or if you're going to read the book after watching this, if you liked it or if you didn't, I really want to thank you for watching. This is my first book review, but there will be many more to come. I'm about to finish the second installation in the Jenna Fox Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. So after I finish that, I'll be posting my reviews for books one and two, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks again.